Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your Yoga Tabata workout. So I know yoga and Tabata usually don't go together, but this is going to be a different workout where we will get the mobility and flexibility that we get from yoga, as well as get our hearts pumping for cardio and get some strength that we get in traditional Tabata. As always, I will give you different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so I can keep making workouts for you here on YouTube and we can grow the body fit community. You don't need any equipment for this workout, just a mat and some space to move. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by tapping it out. We're just gonna reach over. We're just gonna get the blood flowing, get some mobility work in a dynamic warm-up to get everything ready to move and we'll talk through this workout I want you to reach across here to here pivoting on the knees and the hips and then let's reach it down reach so the way this workout is going to work is we have Tabata intervals which is 20 seconds of work followed by 10 seconds of rest. Let's go back across the chest in four minute rounds. So that eight, that's eight rounds of 20 seconds of work. We're gonna alternate between two exercises. One will be a little bit more mobile, a little bit more moving, getting the heart pumping. Of course, I will give you lots of options, um, especially if it is higher impact, you'll always be able to stay low impact if that is what is good for you. Let's roll those shoulders. And the second move will be more of our traditional mobility flexibility yoga move. Again, it's all like a yoga fusion. So this is not your traditional yoga flow. One big deep breath in. In fact, I would say this is a great workout for people who don't love your traditional yoga flow, but still wanna get that mobility work. All the benefits that we get from our yoga. Let's open it up and breathe, little step. So, we will have two moves that I will preview in between our rounds, and we will have a four minute round of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, alternating between those two moves. Of course, listen to your body, work to your fitness level, be where you are today, and remember, as I always say, if you showed up today, you are successful. So, let's take it here, roll through that back, my hope at the end of this is that you feel energized, that you get a little boost of cardio and strength, but also mobility and flexibility. We'll keep it moving. Hopefully it goes fast. Tabata intervals usually do. Walk it in, bring it in, tap and reach across. So you stay here. You just keep tapping. I'm gonna talk you through our very first two moves. So the first one is gonna be that traditional reach up, reach back. We're gonna fold it over. You can keep it just here. Or fold it over, pop it back, pop it in. Bring it up. So it's up to you. You can keep it just with the fold over and the reach. Our second move is we're gonna take it into that up dog and then back to our child's pose. Okay, we'll talk you through it. I'll give you some options. Let's go ahead and start here. 20 seconds, big reach down in front reach, fold over, or pop it back in between, fold, pop back, pop in, right, last one, pop back, pop in. The nice thing is they're gonna keep it super short. So if it's not appropriate for you, or it doesn't feel good to be up in that up dog, you can just keep it in that child's pose. But here we go, if you can, Cobra or up dog, child's pose stretch. Back to center, take it through. Cobra or up dog, take it back. So we're staying on our knees the whole time. If you wanna bring it up, take it back. There we go. Yes, and relax, I'm going over my 20 seconds. I gotta keep an eye on the clock. All right, here we go. Take it here, down, take it back. Fold it over, pop back, and up. This is why you're gonna love that it moves fast and moves fast. Probably one more 
Back and up, yes. Let's take it down. Again, you can keep just child's pose back and forth or up dog or cobra, child's pose. Knees the whole time, here we go. So up, big stretch, sit back. So you decide what pace you wanna move at. If you wanna take it a little quicker or give yourself a few extra seconds in between those stretches. Bring it up. Yes. And relax. Good work. Two minutes down. Two to go. Back to that fold over. You can keep it just the stretch or you can pop it back. Here we go. Pop it back. Pop it in. Really get the stretch out of it. Don't cheat the stretch because we're trying to get to that pop back. One more. Yes, good, 10 seconds to breathe. Take it down, child's pose to up dog or cobra on your knees the whole time. Here we go. Bring it down, bring it up, pop it back. Core is engaged the whole time, strong arms. Get the stretch through your back. Again, modification, you can just, last one, just do the child's pose and relax, bring it up. One more time through, 20 seconds of each with 10 seconds in between. Let's see, can we get a couple more? Here we go, up. Pop it back, pop it in, up. Still get that stretch. Can we get two more? Last one. Yes, relax. Last one here, and we get a little breather in between. So a little heart rate boost, and then we get a little more upper body. Here we go, 20 seconds. Bring it up, take it back. Forward, slow, use those arms, slow and controlled. And back. Don't cheat the stretch out of it. Still get that stretch, last one. And let's hang out in this child's pose for those last 10. Whew, wherever you are. Three, two, one, good. So, you've got a minute to grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna keep it moving. If you want, you can tap and reach it across. If you wanna keep that heart rate up, right? So next, we're gonna do, do a little warrior. We're gonna step out into it, so normally, We'd be here to here. So we're gonna do a big push, down and up. Or if you'd rather, you can step into out of it. Just make sure you get nice and wide so we're not leaning over that knee. We really get into it, push out of it. We're gonna alternate the right and the left. Then we're going bear plank to down dog. So if you need to stay on your knees, you're just gonna keep it here. Engage that core, push it up slowly down. If you're able to, you're gonna hover those knees up so we get a little more core working. All right, so legs, cardio, arms and core and cardio. We'll start on the right side. Warrior, here we go. So take it out, big power up, and up here, or push through if you'd rather. The push through just means we get a little bit less of that stretch. We can't get as wide. Last one. And relax. Take it down. Bear plank to down dog or quadruped, which is just your knees, to down dog. Here we go. Inhale, exhale. Lift up and push. Slowly down, hover or knees down. Lift up and push. If you don't want to go all the way inverted, you can just lift up and down into that bear plank or just with your breathing. If you wanna hold longer here, that's okay too. Slowly down and bring it up. Half this workout is gonna be the up and down, right? So, we're gonna take it other side. Warrior, here we go. Push it up. So if you feel like you can get better range of motion, I know we can get out a little bit more, then keep it here. If you wanna add the movement, to get a little extra 
with that cardio. Last one. Yes, relax. Back to your bear to down dog again. If you don't wanna go inverted, you just keep the bear or the lift. Inhale, exhale, 20 seconds, go. And again, it's up to you. If you wanna hold longer in that down dog, because I know a lot of us love this stretch or we even like to get that pedal, that's an option too. Up to you. Again, different type of yoga class today where we're moving pretty quickly through it. And relax. Two minutes down, two to go. Bring it up. Taking it to this other side. Big arms, I really think, think about power as you come up. Here we go. And breathe. Or here. Yes. One more, and relax. Take it down, one more time. Bear, and up. Roll those shoulders, core engage. Lift, and back. Slowly core, lift the hips and stretch. And here, yes. Five seconds. Hold one or the other longer if you want. And relax, hop it in. Other side, last minute to go. Step it out, power it in, here we go. Power up. And up, or here, push off. Here, push off. And breathe, last one. Yes. Today is not having that perfect pose. That's not what it's about. It's about moving through the movement. All right, team, last time here. Let's take it up. Inhale, exhale, lift. Slowly down, keep that core engaged, especially that deep core. Bring those hips together. Lifting up through the spine through the navel. Last one right here, and then if you're able, hold that down dog. You can pedal, or you can keep it stationary. It's up to you. But really think about lengthening. Last three, two, one. Stretch it back, yes. Good work, team. All right, you got a minute to breathe. Grab a sip of water. We're moving on. How are we feeling? A little bit mobile, I hope. Tap it out. All right, so again, if you wanna keep it moving, here to here, this works, watch me. So we got our low lunge. So normally it's here, you can get that little stretch to here. So we're alternating. If you want to jump it or give it a little run, that works too. Whatever works for you, you can also just tap back, tap back without getting super low in the lunge. Then we're gonna take it here. We're gonna bring that knee across, knee up, and switch. Knee across, knee up, and switch. If you'd rather keep it here, you can just do one and then the other. Here we go, team, 20 seconds. Alternating that low lunge, getting that power, getting that stretch through that hip. And again, if you wanna run it or even jump it, that works too. Three, two, one. Relax, I know it's not as fluid as your typical jump lunge, right? All right, so plank or on your knees. We're bringing the knee in, we're extending it out. Here we go. Knee across, lift it up, back to center. Knee across, lift it up. Does not have to look perfect. Just get that lengthen and that stretch, here we go, keep it going. Last one. Yes, relax. Good. Back to that low lunge. Remember, you can alternate it. Here we go. Lower impact, if you just wanna get the stretch and the reach without dropping the knee, that works too. Or here. Think the higher impact works better with just a little run. Step right, 
versus a full jump. Three, two, one. Yes, good. Let's take it down. Breathe all the way up high. Here we go, take it across. Stretch it up. Take it across. Stretch. So returning to the plank position. Up. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good. Two minutes down, two to go. Are you with me? Feel that little stretch in your hip flexors on the knees. Bring it up. Low lunge, here we go. Really reach to the ceiling to get that stretch. Even if you're running it, if you can drop that knee and get that hip forward just a bit, you get more of that stretch there. Little power, a little hop off that front leg. Three, two, one. Relax, yes. Catch your breath, take it down. Full plank, knee comes across, then extend it out, here we go. And up. And reach. So try not to go so fast that you lose your form. Really get that core firing. Yes, relax. Last time through last minute, two times 20 seconds. Lunge it, and then plank, knee across. Here we go. Reach those hands to the ceiling. Power through, so you get that power shooting up as you stretch in those hips and hip flexors. Five, four, three, two, one. Last time down here. There's that heart rate, right? Do you guys feel it? I do. Woo! Catch your breath. Here we go. Across and reach. Center across and reach. Lift up in that core. Even though we're thinking about moving knee and leg extension, core is working. Stay here. One more each way. Last one. Let's hold that last 10. Hold here. Lift up in the center if you need to be on the knees. That works too. Three, two, one. Relax, yes. Whoo! How's that heart rate? All right, guys, two more circuits to go. We're gonna get through them quickly. Tap it out. If you want a little cardio mobility, cross, cross. Think of it like your skater, but with a little more intention and power as you reach. Watch me guys, whoo. All right, it's all down here. So we're gonna do our bird dog. You can keep it just here to here, or do bird dog, pop back in. Bird dog, bird dog, lift out in. Up to you. And then we're taking it all the way down, guys. It's our swimming from Pilates. Opposite arm opposite leg. I want you to think about the flexibility, the mobility, and the stretch. Bring it down with me. Here we go. Core engage. Keep it just your bird dog. Or add that pop back in between. Bring it up. Reach. Reach up. Reach. Reach. Last one all the way down, swimming opposite arm, opposite leg, little lift through the back, but you don't have to get super high. Here we go. Think about releasing in your back. You can keep it here, or you can move a little quicker. Whatever works for you, if it's just a slow alternating lift, or if you wanna think of it of more of a rhythm, either way, through the back, three, two, one. Little stretch, you can go to child's pose in between if you want. Back to our bird dog, zip up in that core. Here we go. Reach and reach if you're able, pop back, pop in. Reach, lengthen, pop back, pop in. Reach, reach, 
One more. Yes. All the way down into your swimming. Lift up for your back. Controlled. Here we go. Alternating. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Keeping your eyes looking down so we're not arching or pulling in that neck in the back. Look down and forward. And if you wanna just do just the upper or just the lower, that works too. Three, two, one. Stretch, right? Two minutes down, two to go. A lot of core and back on this one, but you can do it, right? Whoo, breathe. Here we go. Reach and reach, pop back and reach, reach. Up, up, yes, last one. Yes, good, relax into your swimming. Take it all the way down, squeeze through that back, core is engaged, alternate, join me. Again, you might feel super tight in upper or lower. Try to push that range of motion. But if that doesn't feel good, be where you are today. Just do the lower, just do the upper, and relax. Last time with each. Whoo, breathe. Here we go, team. It's hot down here. Bird dog, pop back. Join me. Reach and reach, keep it there, or pop it back, pop it in. Can you get a few more? Getting quick on those pops. Yes. Back. Good. Relax. Swimming last time. Here we go, guys. All the way down. Lift it up. Whoo. Squeezing through the back. Again, if you can pick up your pace, think about that flexibility, mobility, tightening through the back, through the shoulders, through the glutes and hamstrings. Three, two, one, relax, yes. Good work, team. All right, take it up to center. Whoo, breathe. All right, so we're doing a little stretch and stretch for our cardio mobility in between. You got one minute. You don't have to get super high with it, but if you can, you'll get that stretch through the back of the legs. Water if you need it. We're going deep plie, watch me. First one, nice and big. Up or squeeze, squeeze. We got that, right? And then we're taking it to that hip stretch. We're here, we're going here to here, then here to here. All right, so outer and inner. Think about it, pigeon and side hip stretch. If one feels better to you, you keep it with that, all right? But we're starting with that deep plie and pull down, little arch of the back if that feels good for you. Power it up either with a jump or with the slide. Here we go, 20 seconds. Slide or up. Up or here, yes. Last one, good, relax. All right, in that high plank, we're crossing it on the outside, we're crossing it on the inside. If that doesn't feel good for you, you stay up top and alternate your lunges. Here we go, high plank if you can. Here to here, cross it here, little stretch to here, back center. Wide with the hip, outer hip, then inner. Yes, right? I know, bring it up. All right, team, Whew. let's keep it here, keep it going. Big arms, big pull, big chest opener. Down and up, and reach, and reach, yes. Or just slide it in with power, 
Good. One more. There we go. Take it down. Hip opener, hip cross, outer thighs, inner thighs. Zip up in the core. Here we go. Center. Cross. Drop it here. If you'd rather keep a back knee down, you can go here. Here's another modification. And take it in. Good. Yes, relax. Two minutes down, two to go. How are we doing, guys? We are almost done with this workout. Let's finish it out strong. Here we go. Breathe. Pull chest opener, squeeze in the back. Pull those inner thighs in. Breathe. Yes. Three, two, and one. Good. Let's take it across and out. Knees down if you want. Again, alternating lunges is always an option. Here we go. Strong plank. And breathe. Mobility here, here, across. Last one. Good work, team. Last minute of this circuit. Can we do it? Here we go. Breathe. Power, with or without that jump. Still very intentional with the arm and chest opener, not just here. And get low. Breathe. Three, two, one. Relax. Take it here. Woo. Good work, team. Zip it up. Bring it up. Plank if you can. Here we go. Side. Side. Take it across. Little mini pigeon. Mini pigeon. Side, side, mini pigeon. Here's what we're gonna do, team. Our 20 seconds are up, but we're gonna hold it here. Drop it down if you need to, or keep it up. Bring that hand in, get that stretch, right? We're gonna finish it out right here. Three, two, one. Switch your sides. Drop the knee if you need to, or keep it up. Big stretch, bring that hand in, hold, three, two, one, pop it back, let's take it pigeon. Take it down if that feels good for you. Otherwise, you can take it to child's pose. Hold three, two, one, switch it. Whoo, breathe right. Hold three, two, one, relax. Good work team, bring it up. We've got one last little move, mobility move. I'm gonna give you several options. We're gonna inchworm it out, right? So, I know we're tired. We got a lot of things working. If you want, I just want you to hinge and reach if you're able. We're gonna walk our hands all the way out. Get that strong plank all the way back. I know we've done a ton of planks, but you can do it. Stay with me. Here we go. Here to here or hinge, get the stretch. Walk it out, get the core and upper. Walk it back all the way up. If you are so motivated, you can add a push up at the bottom, either on your hands or on your toes. Walk it back. If you want to make this a little more of a full body move, you can, but it's optional. We want the stretch through the back of the legs. We want the arms and the core firing. Right? Take it down. No time on this one. I'm watching the clock, but you don't need to. It's not a 20 second interval, it's a bonus. Breathe, strong, walk it back. Let's get one more all the way through. Yes. And all the way up. Good work, everybody. Yes, little taps. I hope you feel good. I hope you feel energized from moving a little quicker. Those of you like myself who maybe don't do enough 
yoga or have enough yoga in their life. <laughs> this is a way to get that mobility. I have other mobility workouts, cardio fusion, uh, strength fusion, dumbbell kettlebell fusion, cardio mobility. Check it out. Take one foot forward, get a little stretch here. Those are some ways to work your mobility and flexibility work into your workouts. Trying to do more of that. Whoo. Other side, take it here. Hips back. Yes. Good. Take it here, roll those shoulders on the inside, gently pressing in and out. Walk it in, round it up through your back. You did it, thank you for joining me today. Check out the links in the descriptions below. Find out about the Body Fit Athletic Club, eBooks, programs, nutrition guide, apparel, everything on my website. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your yoga Tabata workout. Great job, everybody.